Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be continuing our discussion on conditional formatting. Now in today's video, we would be just learning more and more about conditional formatting. So in our previous videos, if we just go to this conditional formatting, we have already covered everything about highlight cell rules. We have covered everything about top bottom rules data bars and color scales were also covered. Now the only thing remaining is this icon sets and a custom rule. So if we talk about icon sets, now what are these icon sets? If you just see here, these are these different kind of symbols that could be applied over the data. So how can they be applied? Similarly, uh, we have a data that is uh, actually containing random numbers. So we are just going to select the data to which we want to apply these icon sets. And the procedure is similar to all the conditional formatting that we have done up till now. Now, once you have selected your data, go to conditional formatting. And then there is this icon sets option. Now you can uh, just select different kinds of icon sets. And all these are given to you. If you want, you can select any one of your choice. So I'm first going to show this uh, directional arrows. You can see them. Some of them are going below. Some of them are actually uh, equal, which is uh, a yellow color. And some of them are depicting with a green color going upwards. So it is pretty difficult to understand because there is no set criteria. If you even just sort this data, then you can also see that uh, it is some kind of random things and even average has nothing to do with it because average is 53. So we cannot just make up anything from this data. So icon sets thing is a bit confusing, but only this icon sets is confusing. If you can just go with the sum of these ratings, say, if you just go with this star ratings option, then you can see it is pretty clear. The star is somewhat filled. Uh, the star is actually empty for the data up till 30. The data of 65 and 91, it's again half filled and the data above uh, 100 is actually fulfilled. So that's also actually used to depict data up till 50, above 50 and up till 100 and then above 100. So these are these three criteria that it has just divided the data into, but that is confusing to understand. Similarly, all these three icon sets could be applied over this everything that you want. If you want this clock thing, then this clock thing would also be applied. But again, it is also dividing the data into these three criteria, which is completely spontaneous. And um, we had nothing to do with it. So it is often advised to not use these icon sets. Okay, now the data is already sorted as per the icon sets, but what if we were having unsorted data like this? Okay, so if you remember from our discussion from sorting, then we had uh, applied color sorting and there was an option where you can also apply this icon set sorting. So if you want to do that, we are just going to cover it quickly. Just select some cell, sort and filter option, go to custom sort. Now. What we are going to do sort by numbers and we are going to sort on cell icon. So this option cell icon, which we had uh, left previously is actually about these icons and you can just select that. What is the icon? I want this yellow icon where I want it on top. I want to add another level where I want to again sorted by the cell icons. This one, this time I want this green thing on the bottom and I click on OK. So you can see that the data has been sorted according to these cell icons now. So that was a quick uh, addition to our sorting topic. Now let's come back to our conditional formatting topic. Uh, so this is how you can apply uh, icon sets or cell icons to the sorting. But what if, uh, but that is not advisable. Now these all sortings that you had done up till now were the default sortings that were or the default formattings applied to you by Microsoft Excel. Now, what if you want to apply custom formatting, then how can you do that? So here is my numbers data and I want to apply con conditional formatting to it. But 
this time it's going to be the custom conditional formatting so how can i do that just select the data go to the conditional formatting tab then you can go to this new rule using this new rule you can apply custom conditional formatting to your data so i'm just going to give you a very simple example so first of all just select format all cells based on their values make sure that this option is selected now there are these rules or the sorting or the formatting rules that you can apply like there is this format style option you can uh, select the two color scale the three color scale the data bars or the icon sets i'm just going to go with data bars option if you go with data bars option there are these some kind of values that you have firstly it asks you for a minimum value and a maximum value by default it has been set as automatic that automatically it will treat something as minimum value and automatically it will treat something as maximum value so 10 would be treated as minimum and 143 would be treated as maximum but if you do not want that you can go to number and from here you can select a particular number that is going to act as a minimum value suppose you want 30 to be acted as a minimum value you can specify that similarly you can also specify a maximum for yourself now if you want you can apply this uh change this bar appearance as well i'm going to go with solid fill the color i'm going to choose yellow if you want you can also apply a border to it so i'm just going with a solid border and its color i'm going to go with blue also you can see a preview here of the bar and then there is a bar direction which i'm going to select with right to left and then you can just click on okay so you can see that this is the bars that we have got since we had uh, taken 30 as the minimum value so 50 is somewhat more than the minimum value that's why the bar has started from 50 and uh, all these things have been taken and 143 is by default taken as the maximum value so that is how you can apply custom uh, conditional formatting to your data but what if uh, you do not want to apply these data bars what if you want to apply some other kind of things so how can you do that you can simply just clear these rules from the selected cells you can go to conditional formatting new rule and instead of this suppose i want a three color scale so for the three color scale there are three three criteria the minimum point midpoint and the maximum point similarly you can go with a two color scale with the minimum point and the maximum point and this is the preview that what our color is going to range from if you want you can just choose anything like this yellow to dark green and this is going to be a number what number this time 10 is going to be my lowest value and my maximum value is going to be a number which is say 500 or this time i'm going to select a negative value say minus 50 as my minimum and then i click on okay so you can see this is the kind of the formatting that has been applied and the reason being minus 50 was my minimum value so it would have been pure yellow and 500 was my maximum value so it would have been pure green that is why all these uh, data have been actually lying between it and that is why we have not got proper uh, coloring to it or proper scales to it so that is about the conditional formatting custom conditional formatting and in the next videos we are going to learn about some advanced conditional formatting as well that's all for the video thanks for watching